In this video, I'm going to complete the modeling for our dark hall. We've already done the walls, the basic room setup, the door, the chairs, the bed frames. We've got a couple of lights here that we can adjust later. And now what we need is uh, a fluorescent light up at the top. And I've zoomed into the reference image a number of times and I just can't make it out. And so I'm going to use my own design for that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring my 3D cursor right there. I'm going to bring in a circle and I'm going to choose 16 vertices. I'm going to rotate X90, scale it down. I'm going to move it up and I'm just going to focus on that so we can see that there. Okay, and let's see what I want to do. All right, let's just take that and come in here and we're going to delete these vertices here, these one, two, three, four, five, I guess. Those five vertices. And my 3D cursor's there. I'm going to push this off to the side a little bit. And I'm going to add a mirror modifier. That looks okay like that, I think. I'm going to turn on clipping. I'm going to select these two vertices. E to extrude and pull them in until they hit. And... Um, I'm going to take these bottom vertices and delete them. Take this one and bring it down a little bit like that. And then in and it'll clip as well. I take that vertex and I'll shift control B and we'll bevel that. I'll just put another one in there so we have a little bit of a rounded kind of an object like that. I'm gonna apply that come in here and we can probably just dissolve those ones okay so we have that now with respect to the room if I bring the room back that's not going to be the right orientation for that let's scale it down a bit we're going to rotate Z90 so it's like that I still need to rotate it actually uh, I'm going to rotate Y180 so that we have those circle parts near the bottom. Let's take that and pull that up. I'm going to look from the front and I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to mirror that like that. Okay, now I'm going to just focus on that itself. Okay, so let's do this. Let's um, make a face and let's extrude out a little bit. Okay, let's bevel this here with three. And let's come in here, grab that face. I press three and then face selection. And that's what I'm going to get over on this side. And I'm going to press I to inset. And then E to extrude, I'll pull that in. And then I can press I to inset another time to get that. Now I'm going to bevel this and this. I'll shade smooth and I'm going to try Control 1. And I'll, I'm going to drag an edge loop down here to tighten that up. Something like that. And I may need to come in here and select this back face and I'd inset as well because I've got the subdivision on. And that should should look okay considering what we want to do. And now let's um yeah, I'll keep the 3D cursor there, it's fine. I'm gonna bring in a cylinder to create the fluorescent light. I use 16 vertices and nothing so that it's open. I'll scale it down, rotate Y90, and let's scale in the X, and pull that up. And it's gonna, okay, scale in the X again. Let's pull that over, scale shift. Actually, that might be a little bit big Let's see, we'll see as we uh, as we get this done, what this is going to look like. 
let's come in here now and bring my 3D cursor there and take this set the origin to the 3D cursor and mirror this let's bring the room back and just get the sense of this thing let's hide the ceiling in. okay we're going to make the whole thing a little smaller do that okay so I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to scale that in the Y I want it smaller take this pull it in something like that so far is not bad Okay, now the next thing is we're going to drop an edge loop in there and control B and split it just with two edges. Come out to around maybe there. E and Alt S and pull to make that smaller. So we have the, the ends that connect and the fluorescent light is that part. Let's grab that edge and this edge and control B and bevel with there's two, three. And I'm going to do the same on this edge and this edge control B just like that okay to get the idea and I may even work on making that even a little bit smaller so that I can make these just a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna do this and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll scale them in the X and have that kind of a thing just pull it in a little bit I might pull it in a little bit more now the next thing I want to do is I want to take maybe that edge there um, I could try that shift D to duplicate pull it out P to break it out I'm gonna take that edge there and I'm gonna turn off the subdivision and just pull it back here and E to extrude pull out turn on clipping I'm gonna pull that in a little bit take this edge and extrude up like that and then turn on the Y and make them a hit like that Okay, let's take all of this, let's see, pull that back in, take this edge and we'll bevel it like that. We'll take that edge and bevel it a little bit. Okay, let's focus just on that shape there. And I think I will apply the mirror at that point and I can get rid of those edges and I'm going to take this and uh, just make sure it's flipped the right way I'm just going to give it that okay, it's not quite right so let's uh, merge my distance I got rid of a few vertices so I had a bit of a problem oops in all tests and I'll come in like that I may have another little something on there for some reason right there just like that and we can get rid of uh, these ends here I'll just click this one and then come over here, press control and click that one. Just gonna do that. Because that stuff, that part's gonna be hidden. That one and control to that one. And I think we're okay. Now let's just have a look at that and see what we've got. So we will bevel in edge selection. That edge and I'll add that edge. 
this edge and this edge. I'm just going to do them separately. So that, and over on this side, just get the right ones. One and that one. Okay, let's take these, or that, pull it down a bit so you see through it, yeah, and that's basically the structure I'm going for, so I've got that, that, and that, and let's see, let's, um, I'm, I like the size of it. I think it's okay, so I'm going to apply that mirror there, and um, let's do the materials first. Um, I'm just going to add a basic material on here. Let's see, we can call this, um, I think I'm just going to make a new one for the moment, and I'm just going to call it black. And I won't, I won't mess around with any more than I have to on that. I'll make that black. And I'll make that black. And we'll come in here. I'm going to create another material. I'm actually going to need two. One of those is going to be an emission. And the other one is going to be black. And the emission here. Let me just switch this to emission. Put that at about five for now. And we'll come in here, and I just want that, and I'll assign that to there. And let's see now, let's go back here for the moment. This has what on it? Nothing. This has a subdivision on it. I'm going to apply the subdivision and join to that. And I'm actually going to join that. That's mirrored. I'm going to I'm going to join it all together for now. And I'll merge my distance just in case. And we will just push that up like, like that. And I'm just looking that it's roughly centered with respect to the doors, and or the door frame and the lights. And so let's see. Let's, let's put that into a collection and call that ceiling light. And let's see what we've got here. We've got bed frame in a collection, ceiling light, chair. How about we do a collection for door? So we got that. We'll do a collection for walls. Let's call it wall. We'll just tidy this up, uh, dragging these around. Alphabetical, so it's a little easier to find. Ceiling light, S E S C E. Wall. Floor. Ceiling. should be nothing in there except lights okay I do want a separate one for lights and I usually make that in cap and I bring it to the top near the top and I usually make one for camera as well let's have a look at this now and this is what we're coming up with our ceiling light okay so with that done we are going to be ready to move on to texturing this we're going to be doing bricks concrete and we'll see about this tile floor there may not be much to do on that but some 
and there may not be that much to do on that as well. And then we'll we'll uh, we'll just play with the lighting. I'm probably going to be using these two point lights, and I may add a spotlight pointing down. And uh, of course, we'll have the wood. I didn't put the wood in the collection. We'll do that. And uh, so we'll just adjust the lights a little bit and we'll get a camera angle that we like and a focal distance that we like. And then a little bit of stuff in the compositor for rendering. And I'll set up my render settings. There'll be nothing special, but I will do that anyhow. And I will probably do it in Eevee. And, um, and we'll get a render. And then I will do a little bit of post-processing as well in GIMP. And I may use something else and I can talk to you about that. But basically you should all be able to do this if you choose to do the project and you should, be, you, sh you should all be able to do almost all of the steps that I'm going to do. And if I decide to bring in any image maps for any of this stuff, and I'm not certain about that, I'll make them available so you can find them and do the exact same thing. All right, so I'll show you one uh, post-processed image, sort of heavily post-processed, considering we don't have any real textures going on here yet. And then we'll move on uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching.